All right. Kevin has these bags of chips in his pantry. One bag of Fritos, two bags of Cheetos, two bags of Doritos, three bags of potato chips, two bags of Funyuns. Kevin will randomly choose one bag of chips, then he will put it back and randomly choose another bag of chips. What is the probability that Kevin will choose a bag of Fritos and then a bag of Cheetos? We write our formula, part over whole. All right. We read the, the word problem. A, one over 50. B, two over five. C, two over 45. D, one over 25. We underline the specific question. What is the probability that Kevin will choose a bag of Fritos and then a bag of Cheetos? All right. Now we're going to label and annotate. Okay. We have the bags of Fritos, the number of bags. And then we have randomly chosen. He will put it back and then he'll choose another bag. All right, so he chooses two bags of chips. Okay, so he'll choose a bag of Fritos. That's one out of a whole of 10. And then he'll choose a bag of Cheetos, which is two out of 10. All right, 10 total bags. Now, after step one, writing our formula, step two, we'll evaluate and multiply. Two over 10 can be simplified. Two over 10 can be simplified. This will now be one fifth. Two is one times two. 10 is two times five. Our twos cancel out. Now we're left with one tenth. This comes down here. One tenth multiplied by one fifth. We get one over 50. All right. So we've done some labeling. We evaluated and now we selected our correct answer. All right, two over five, not accurate, not accurate, not accurate. The answer is A. And by the way, I would prefer the Cheetos.